What's up? It's Travis from Way of the Warrior on ESPN 96.1. Tonight, I can't sleep, because I don't know if you know, but in almost 48 hours, we, as a people, as a society, are gonna get ready to witness this. UFC 116. So I am out tonight to go find drunk people and ask them, we're at Club Six right now. What they think of the fight and who's gonna be a winner. So let's check it out. Okay, who do you got between these two beasts, these two juggernauts? Point, point. Oh, she went with Brock. Now why? Just because you like him on WWE? Because he's hot. That's just gonna win, baby, hands down. He's All the right. biggest, the baddest. He's got boyish good looks. I'm telling you what, he's, he's got win. good looks. Okay. <laughs> Um, now, it has nothing to do with probably the tattoo that's on his chest. Alright, we had to go get the, uh, the night ice cream fellas. They're running the truck. So they got, they got... Going with Brock Lesnar. Right here, he going to win. Brock Lesnar. Because I never heard of him before. ESPN 96.1, what do you guys think is going on this Saturday for Shane Carwin versus Brock Lesnar? Well, I know it's definitely going to be a fight to see, man. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to go just by looks, I mean, obviously Lesnar is a big Everyone guy. keeps talking about looks. All but the I mean, dudes, too. But, I mean, statistics, yes. that, that always comes into play. I mean, it doesn't matter how big you are. I mean, look at that Kimbo Slice thing. Yep. So, it could, honestly, I think it could go either Shane way. Carwin is undefeated with all KOs. I was just about to say, but I'm going with Carwin. Going with Carwin. Lesnar, I don't care. All right. We, we ain't Lesnar. friends no more, man. You got to find a You're going to go with Shane Carwin? Yeah. All right. Super Carwin. Brock Lesnar is, is a beast. He, he will not get knocked out. The he epitome. Out. He's the epitome. Now, my man, what is going on here? Okay, here's what's going to happen. Brock Lesnar is going to win. Yeah. There's only two reasons. One, he's fucking huge. And two, he fought in the WWE. Well, Lesnar's going to win. Lester's not as technical. Do you think it's going to go the distance? Nope. No? Yeah. Lester's you... going to screw up. You think it's going to be submission? Yep. Lester will screw up. Lester can ground him down, but he's going to screw up. Dude, you fight? I don't, but if I did, I'd be in heavyweight. You'd be in heavyweight. That's pretty obvious. Now, we got two titles on the line. Interim title, and we got the heavyweight title. Shane Carwin undefeated and Brock Lesnar the beast. This is a uh, this is a tough call. Who, who do you got? Who do you got for the fight, man? I got Lesnar, man. Who's Carwin's called bumps. He hasn't fought a Lesnar yet. You got Lesnar? Lesnar all the way. Now I think that dude can kick Lesnar's ass. Doubt it. Carwin's, no, Carwin's, Carwin's undefeated, 11 and 0. Who's he fought? You knocked out Frank Mir, sweet. Who hasn't destroyed Frank Mir? What it Mir? always comes really? down to, it's whoever smiles when they're at like the, like the, when they're like staring each other down before the fight, man. That's what it always comes down to. Of course, you know, since I got Brock Lesnar, and since I got to go with my boy, you know what I'm saying? I used to watch him when he was in wrestling. And then you look at him, and you look at him, you know what I'm saying? Brock Lesnar about to tear him apart. Now, what do you think, as far as fight predictions go, is it going to make it past the first round? I say I go about three rounds. Three rounds. Three so rounds. it'll it'll start to go the distance. That's good. That's what everyone's hoping for. So we got one more for Lesnar. Carwin, you're out of luck tonight, bud. All right, I had to get out of there because uh, I was going to get marauded by a bunch of crazies. You can probably hear them in the background, see them in the background. They're all over there. Before I before I give my opinion, I got to break it down. Shane Carwin, Division II uh, heavyweight national champion. Um, you know, tough, tough collegiate wrestler. Uh, and a lot of people argue, especially the wrestlers will say, well, Division 2 is not as tough as Division 1. But you know what? At heavyweight, and I'm not dissing heavyweight, but at heavyweight, it doesn't matter. You could take the number, you know, number one guy in Division 3, put him up against number one guy in Division 2 or 1, they'd all be equal. Um, you know, so I, I think divisions at this point for college don't matter. So they're both division, they're both national champions in college, in my opinion. Um, you know, Brock has had tougher competition as far as, you know, uh, the wrestling aspect of it. But that was, that's already years ago. I mean, these guys are mid-30s now. So, 
you know, wrestling is kind of irrelevant. It's your base at this point, you know, because they're so well diversed in striking. Um, they obviously have shown that they both can hit hard. I think Brock is um, more not as explosive because we saw how explosive Shane was in his last fight against Mir, but I think. Lesnar has more well-rounded striking. He's going to be moving quicker on his feet, um, you know, and I think he'll definitely be able to take the punches. Uh, I think that Carwin is going to get taken down by Lesnar if he if he tries to open up for any strikes. Lesnar's going to take him down right away. He might connect, but the question is, you know, what's going to happen when it goes to the ground? I mean. I don't think Lesnar's going to be able to hold him down like he has previously, but I think that first guy to go to the ground is going to be a huge loss because taking those hits coming down, even if you get back up, it's going to be a huge, huge, uh, you know, gut check. So I just, because I think I love Lesnar for the sport, I think he's great for UFC. Uh, both guys are good for wrestlers. They both represent well, not WWE. I'm talking real wrestling. You know, I got to go with Lesnar. He's the iconic figure, you know, he's the Ivan Drago, he is that dude, and, uh, you know, with diverticulitis, you know, theories aside, the dude's, you know, came back and he needs this win, I think, to show that he's still heavily involved. Um, you know, people, people didn't forget about him, but I think this is his stamp, like, that he's officially the champion. You know what I mean? Because he's only had like four fights, and that's a huge controversy is how many fights Brock Lesnar's had. Okay, Carwin's undefeated, all knockouts, so I get it. Just don't see him knocking out Lesnar, and that's going to be a test for Carwin. So see how his tank is, and I know Lesnar's got a good tank, so we'll see what happens.